we know that the area of a circle is pi r square and today we are going to derive the area of the circle and we will make the use of a integral calculus this is our circle which has a radius of r which is uniform this r is uniform all across as it sweeps around the circumference of the circle so what we want to do in all such kinds of problems is find the area of a very small segment and this is what we have shown a shaded portion of this circle now this shaded portion has let's let's focus on the central center of this shaded portion somewhere here which is at a distance x from the origin and the, the height is y then the area of now if we take the shaded portion then a very small portion we are calling it a dx it's a very very small uh, section of x in increasing distance of x now if we call it dx the area of this shaded portion is going to be this area of this rectangle or y into dx it's not exactly a a rectangle because if you look at here it looks like a curve but if you make dx incrementally smaller infinitesimally smaller then the y becomes to look like a rectangle or a straight line this this particular curve turns into a straight line and therefore we can write da is equal to y into dx or the area of this shaded portion we will apply to this thing in a general any general for any general curve we are showing here uh, any generic curve it could be a parabola hyperbola any conic section or things like that and then what we do is we find the area of this portion as da is equal to y into dx into dx and we are if we are asked to find the area of this whole this curve in between points x1 and x2 and what we do is we integrate y this da from x is equal to x1 to x is equal to x2 and that gives us and then what we will have to do is in all these problems we need to express this y in terms of the x and this is what we call y is equal to fx where fx could be for example uh, x square plus 2 or anything like that so coming back to the circle the problem da is equal to y into dx we need to the next step we have is to express this y in terms of x and for that we know that the area of a circle is given by x square plus y square is equal to r square so y becomes equal to square root of r square minus x square now the area of this circle here is four times the area of this one fourth quadrant therefore we can write area is equal to 4 into y into dx as x varies from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to r we are trying to find the area as it as it sweeps back from here to here from x equal to 0 to x equal to r our next step we cannot integrate y dx unless we express y in terms of x and then we can write a y as equal to square root of r square minus x square dx now to do this integration we will have to do substitution simplification and the best simplification for this one is by substituting x in terms of trigonometric function r d theta because when we do when we do sin square theta here then we get r square minus r square sin square theta and 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta and this is square theta is simplifies to the cos theta and that is the idea behind this substitution so x equal to r sin theta so dx will become equal to r 
if we differentiate this thing then dx is equal to r is constant throughout the circle that is one thing you need to keep in mind r cos theta into d theta so this dx is substituted by r cos theta d theta and this thing becomes r square minus r square sin square theta we take r common 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta that brings us to here we have 4 into r cos theta from here r cos theta this term becomes r cos theta into r cos theta d theta the whole thing becomes r square 4 into r square cos square d theta we know the cos square theta formula 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta if you don't know this formula memorize it it's going to be useful over and over and again and again in all mathematics this becomes equal to r square 0 to pi by 2 before we go into this I forgot to mention one thing as we change this variable from x equal to 0 to x equal to r our variable here changes from 0 to pi by 2 and how does it happen when we have x equal to 0 here in this equation then sine theta is equal to 0 and theta becomes 0 when x becomes r this r here then we have r equal to r sine theta r r cancel sine theta is equal to 1 and sine theta is equal to 1 when theta is equal to pi by 2 that's how we have our change in the limits from 0 to pi by 2. So we finally are here 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta. If we integrate 1, it is theta. And then cos 2 theta is equal to sine 2 theta divided by 2. Cos theta integration is sine 2 theta and then 2 is divided division that's something you need to memorize anytime there's a constant that gets divided in the integration now the problem is simple you need to just find the substitute the value of pi by 2 theta pi by 2 here sine 2 into pi by 2 divided by 2 this 2 sine 2 theta is 2 into pi by 2 divided by 2 is sine pi and sine this 2 gets cancelled with this 2 the sine pi is 0 and then if we, if we substitute 0 here this is 0 and sine 0 is 0 sine pi is 0 so these three terms are 0 we finally arrive at area is equal to pi into r square this 2 2 gets cancelled area is equal to pi r square while this problem has been shown for a circle this in general what, what I would like to express is that you can use this same trick for any general curve and the key trick is find the area of a very small portion express y in terms of x and then integrate it for the given required range you can use this formula for an ellipse or any other generic curve before I end I would like to tell an easier way to solve the same problem we use the same concept, same thing, but if you can, because this trick is something that you will find it useful in many occasions, especially when any problem involves around a circle. What we have done here is, we have taken, this is a big circle, and we have taken a very small slice out of it, something like when you eat a pizza, and you take a very small slice out of this pizza we are taking this very very small slice this is the angle theta and this small angle right here we are calling as d theta or incremental theta okay this d theta represents this small angle the radius is r the one thing that we want to know is what is the area of this small slice and then integrate this thing for the whole of this area again the same concept but instead of applying in the rectangular coordinates we are doing trying to do it in a kind of what we call as a polar coordinate I will not go into make your mind into what is polar coordinate but let's let's focus on the what's that what we are doing here 
we are just trying to find out the area of this small portion. So how do we find the area of this small portion? This is given by this. If we keep this theta very small, then this arc starts with it becomes a straight line. And the area of this triangle will be given by half of this length of this perpendicular from here to here multiplied by the base. If we can find the length of this perpendicular and the length of this base, we can find the area of this small circle. The length of this base is given by, we know that this angle is given by the arc divided by radius. So d theta, this small angle is given by arc divided by radius. And we need to find this r is given by d theta multiplied by radius r or r d theta. So we know the base and the length of this perpendicular is r which is same as this or this. Because this is very small so all these lengths they are same and that becomes r. So this area of this small slice is given by half multiplied by the base multiplied by this length of this perpendicular half r t theta multiplied by r and this r into r is r square d theta half if to find the area of this whole this circle we need to integrate it half r square d theta becomes the whole area of this whole thing and the angle varies from theta is equal to zero to the whole thing if we go anti-clockwise it becomes theta is equal to 2 pi. So area is equal to half into r square, theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi. Integrating the theta, there is no other variable. r stays constant and that's why we could, can take the r outside of this integration. If you have a curve where r keeps varying, for example, a zigzag, things like this, then we cannot take the r as a constant. So theta, d theta integration becomes theta as theta varies from 0 to 2 pi, we have area is equal to half of r square multiplied by 2 pi. 2, 2 gets cancelled. When theta is equal to 2 pi, it's 2 pi. When theta is equal to 0, so 2 pi minus 0 is 2 pi. And 2, 2 cancels, so we have area is equal to pi r square. In all these problems, the one thing that we finally need to keep in mind is that to find an area, you need to find the area of a very small portion and then integrate it. Whether it's a rectangular coordinate, something like this, or a something like a simplified polar coordinate, like this.